Hello, I'm Garth Badger here. I wanted to let you know something. I had some plans. Now, for those of you who remember my video about Mama UK dying, I, fe I felt that here and here that, I, that she was going to going to be killed, and I tried to warn her. It turns out cancer is killing Casey. What I want her to do is come to Memphis as quickly as possible. Because, number one, <clears throat> see, the truth is, <clears throat> losing another woman to, to any kind of death is something I really don't want. It would hurt me terribly again. Just today, I had that, that feeling that I don't know that Casey that they that they might tell her the doctors might tell her she what that she only has a few years to live, which I really don't want to hear. But Casey, if you're hearing this, if that happens, I want you to come quickly after you have earned enough, after you've saved enough money. Now I would like you to save enough money for. Not just a passport, but also to become a citizen of the U.S. if you can. I have good plans here, and <clears throat> that way we can um, see there's every October now when the weather starts turning all cool, you know, hopefully, when it's not as, you know, cold. I mean, when it's not as hot, actually, as it was in the summertime. And uh, that's one of Laurie's cats sitting there looking at me. It's okay. I'm going to have a uh, liver, to, uh, like fried liver today. <laughs> Delicious. Tongue from the. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's from the what I've been drinking. It's some kind of a powder mix for a. You know what I mean? You know. But. When you, if you ever, if you do consider doing this, which, you know, which it could be, you know what I mean, like, we, the truth is, I don't want you to be lonely. I don't want it to end the end very, uh, end, end, end misery for you. In other words, having to spend all those days waiting for the cancer to kill you if it, if it comes, if it turns out that way. So what I'm going to do, I'd like you to, uh, so if you come, uh, if that happens and you come to live here in the U.S., I'd very much like to marry you. I'd buy you a really pretty ring, a house. I may have a lot to, to learn before. I can manage bills, but my dad can teach me that. Yes, I know he can teach me. I have what, uh, whoever remains in my family to be able to tell me how, to show me how to do with that. Stuff that every, every responsible adult, every adult has to do responsibly. And 
I do that for you. I very much do that for you. I can't stay, you know, as a child, you know, on the inside. I've got to grow up at some point. Which I am doing gradually, but not very quickly. I need to try doing it fast. I need to try faster to grow up quicker, more quickly. <coughs> and I take you to the uh, to the Renaissance Fair if you would like. It would be a lot of fun to take you there. By like a, a common uh, poor woman's medieval dress for you. I just dress in a poor a poor country knight's outfit. There were there was a, there were such a thing. There was sometimes such a thing as poor country knights when they lived in the villages. Not much money, but they lived as best they could. I mean, it's, if they had, if they, if they, uh, it's, that's all it is. If they, they probably were, like, banished over something silly or something that, I don't know, they probably had to start roaming, roaming the countryside, and, and they had to live poorly. But yes, the poor can marry for love. That's true enough. I do all that for you because I don't want you to spend the last remaining years just to die alone without me by your side. If it turns out that way. <clears throat> so, as much as I love you, I would do anything for you to make this work do anything for you to make this work. So when you when you have enough rest from the chemotherapy, please contact me. Okay? Perhaps I will see you soon, Casey.